Amazon's big fall announcement is finally over and we have got a ton of products to talk about. So let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So Amazon just announced a ton of new products from new Echo devices to new kid devices, new collaborations with Disney and even new robots. We also have things from Blink and Ring. That is what we're gonna be talking about in today's video. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos like this one. And with that said, let's get started. So this event didn't quite go as planned for me. I was planning to hop on, watch the event, see all of the good announcements, and then share it with you guys. But instead, I found out this is an invite-only event. So I had to read it all on the CNET website. So that's what we're gonna be going over. I'm not gonna be showing you guys all of the cool things necessarily up in front. Instead, we're gonna kind of go through the CNET website and just quickly break it all down for you. So if we take a look right here on my screen, we have got our first product right here. So Amazon just announced a new smart thermostat that they are partnering up with Honeywell for. So they wanna bring a cheap, alternative to you for controlling your home thermostat. So instead of using Nest or using Ecobeam that are kind of expensive, I mean, they're up in the $150 to $250, this one's gonna be $60. Now, it looks like that actually using this thermostat at the thermostat isn't gonna to be too intuitive. You can either turn it up or turn it down. Most of the controls from this is going to be through the app where you can set up different schedules, set up different automations. So it's gonna be really app heavy. Next up I wanted to talk about is the announcement of the new Amazon Echo Show 15. This is a wall-mounted smart display. So previously, last year, we had the Echo Show 10, which was kind of a tablet built onto a speaker. Uh, kind of a weird thing. I bought one, and I got to say, it's a little weird. The speaker is amazing, and I, I kind of do love having it, but this one is going to be a wall-mounted device. Now, it is going to have a plug coming out of the bottom, unless you can figure out a way to hide that in the wall, but this is gonna be a 15 inch display that is going to allow you to see different things like your calendars, sticky notes, recipes. You can also bring up your ring cameras on this too. So somebody's walking up to your door, rings the doorbell, you can have a pop-up that is going to show what's happening at the door, which I think is pretty cool. Now 15 inches is gonna be a little bit bigger than a laptop screen, depending on what size you have. I have a, a 13 inch right here, so it's gonna be a little bit bigger than that. So just think laptop screen kind of mounted up on the wall. So another cool thing with this right here is they actually are going to be introducing virtual ID facial, facial recognition. So what that means is that whoever is in front of this device is going to recognize your face and it's gonna give you a custom notifications, settings, it's gonna give you your calendar, any sticky notes. It's gonna be custom to you, whether, you know, past music that you're playing, anything like that. What I'm curious to see with this thing right here is that if I were to put this up in the kitchen and we're all kind of constantly walking around, is that going to throw this thing off? Do you need to go and stand in front of it for a few seconds for it to actually change the person? Or how exactly does that work? Who's the default person? Is it just the last person that walked in front of it? Uh, it's gonna be interesting to test this one out. This is definitely one that I'm looking at getting. And I also wanna mention, if there is anything that I mention in this video that you want me to do a review on and actually pick this product up, let me know in the comments below because I'm not gonna be picking all of these up. They are pretty expensive. I will just be picking a handful of these up, but this is probably going to be one of them. And we'll be testing out you know, the different things like the spatial recognition and what those features offer. Next up, Amazon brings custom sound detection to their Echo devices. So it's going to listen for different sounds and as it recognizes familiar sounds, it can send you notifications. One of the examples they gave here is that it can detect, say when your washing machine alarm tone goes off, it can send you a notification that it just heard, say your washing machine beep and that it went off and it can send you a message saying, hey, the laundry's done. So I thought that was a cool feature right there. It's gonna be interesting to see what else it has. It looks like maybe a barking dog, crying baby, somebody snoring from these pictures right here. And it looks like a, a baseball maybe went through a glass window so you can listen for a glass break. Um, that is a feature that's been in the Echo Guard for a little bit. But um, it's gonna be listening for more things now and be able to send you more custom notifications. So that's cool right there. 
Next up, we have Amazon is going to offer on-device smart speaker processing. So no longer do you have to send everything to the cloud for it to be processed. It can now do it locally on the devices. So that is a really cool feature right there, especially for people who are concerned with privacy. Now you can set it up to have your smart speaker process everything local on the device. No more sending it up to the cloud. So that's a cool feature right there and something I'm looking forward to. Next up, we have got Amazon's $80 Halo. So Halo is like their smartwatch. Uh, I actually had one last year. I bought it, I used it for a little bit. It was not for me, I was not a fan of it. Uh, I ended up not even doing a review on it, I just returned it. But this one right here is pretty cool because it actually has a face on it now. The one that I got last year had no face on it. You had to check everything through the app, you couldn't see any stats or anything on it. This one at least has an actual colored face on it, so it looks like you can see the time, you can read some of your stats just quickly from the watch itself and not have to bring up the app every time because that is something that annoyed me by it. It was nice and they said that they didn't want you kind of hyper-focused on uh, the numbers and the stats and everything about it, but you know, it looks like enough people didn't like that that they're now putting it into their new Halos right here. So they announced the new Halos right here. It looks like they're coming in at about $80 for those. And in addition to that, Amazon also announces the Halo Fitness and Nutrition platforms. So this is gonna be new platforms for their whole fitness. Uh, according to the article here, they're really starting to push hard into their fitness program. And so they're releasing a new platform for those. Uh, I also wanna to mention too, I'm gonna have links for everything that I'm talking about down in the description below if you guys want to read these articles or go more in depth into any of this stuff. And that most of this stuff, when it gets to the Amazon website, is going to be on pre-order too. So I'll have links for all of that stuff if you guys want to check this out and pre-order any of that stuff. Okay, next up we have got the new Ring Alarm Pro. And what this is, is it's actually going to take the Ring Alarm system and it's gonna integrate it with its smart Wi-Fi technology, their Euro Wi-Fi technology. And the cool thing about this is that your alarm base is now going to be a Wi-Fi hotspot. So if we take a look down here, we've got the Euro Wi-Fi 6 router. It's gonna come with some cool features built inside. This is the $250 security system will protect you from both physical intruders and network threats, according to the company. Now, my favorite thing about this setup right here is if we read it here, in conjunction with the Alarm Pro system, it will offer cellular internet backup, local video processing for your Ring system. So let's talk about that. If you have Ring cameras around your house, they have to send all of their footage to the cloud to get processed, and if you want to view any of that footage, it's gotta pull it back down. This right here is going to allow you to process all of that information locally on this specific device right here. So no more sending it to the cloud if you don't want to. So we've got local video processing and storage and then access to the Euro security system right here. We've also got additional features like hands-free emergency helpline via the Alexa Guard Plus with security features on the Amazon Alexa device. Amazon Echo devices. So what's interesting about this right here is that the Ring Protect Pro is gonna cost $20 a month. That is double the price of what the previous versions have had. But you do get cellular backup and to have local storage on the device, you're paying more for it. So I find that kind of interesting that you're paying more for almost less features. Um, but it's nice to have that option. Next up, Ring announced that it's got new custom alerts that you can train your outdoor cameras to track different things. And the cool thing about this right here, for example, they have is that the garage door is closed. So we have the garage door highlighted. And what that means is that you're going to take, you can take up to five pictures per alert. So you're gonna take one picture of the door being closed. You'll open up the garage door, take another picture of it being open, and then distinguish between the two where you can set up an automation that says, if you notice on the camera that the door is open, send me a notification telling me my door is open. Now you can do this with a bunch of different things. Ring did say in the description here below that it doesn't really work with things that move around. It's gonna be better for things that are secure and not moving a bunch. So the example they gave was the garage door or maybe the mailbox flag on your mailbox. Now, as of right now, when this first rolls out, it is only going to be compatible with the Spotlight Cam battery. 
So only that one right now. It looks like they're going to probably be rolling it out to the Ring doorbell and then probably other cameras as time goes on. But as of right now, it is only going to work with that specific camera. Now, in addition to that feature, Ring is also going to let you hire a virtual security guard to monitor your doorbell feed. So right now they are teaming up with the rapid response. And what that is gonna mean is that you can sign up for this service. You're gonna pay monthly for it. And this company, the third party company, is going to monitor any notifications that you get. So once your alarm system is armed, they are gonna get notifications in addition to you of motion, something that's going around the house. Now you can pick cameras individually. It doesn't have to be your entire system. You can say, I just want my doorbell or I just want the camera at the front door or the backyard and they will just be able to monitor those notifications coming through. All right, next up, Amazon also announced new Blink video doorbell. So this is gonna be a $50 video doorbell from Blink. Blink is kind of their budget-friendly uh, camera company. So if you pick up anything from Blink, um, they've got Blink and Ring. Blink is going to be a little bit more on the budget side. So this is a camera that is battery powered or you can wire it up. Like I mentioned, it is $50 to set that up. And they also announced a new Blink floodlight cam camera mount. So this is gonna be $40. It's going to attach to your current cameras. So you have to have a current Blink camera and you'll be able to pick up this $40 mount to attach to it. Now, another thing that I wanted to mention here, which didn't have its own page at the time, I wonder if it did now, but this is a new thing for kids. So we've got the Amazon Glow, and this is something that I'm actually excited about because it's going to allow kids to interact with the screen. So if we take a look at the image here on the screen, uh, this is the Amazon Glow. You can set up video recordings with it. Now, I'm not sure if both people need to have this device on either end, but it talked about um, you know, doing interactive games or drawings or puzzles that you can do. Now, what interests me the most about this is that I would love for my kids to be able to interact with grandparents more and more than just a FaceTime call, but also to do, you know, some kind of interactive thing for them to play a game together, to draw together, to do different things. So I love the idea of this device right here. This is one that I actually want to pick up and test out. But what this does is that it's got a mini projector on the top and it's going to cast an image down on the tabletop for the kids to then touch and interact with, whether you know it be games, drawings, different things like that. So my curiosity with this is that does the other person need to have the exact same setup to be able to also interact with it? So it says that Amazon partnered up with Disney, Mattel, Sesame Street, and Nickelodeon to create interactive books, puzzles, and all sorts of items. So I'm excited to test this one out. Uh, I've got a three-year-old and now a six-year-old as of two days ago. Um, so I feel like they're kind of the perfect age to be uh, playing around with these things and um, just getting some more fun educational things out of it other than just watching random YouTube videos of kids playing with toys. Now, the next thing that I wanted to bring up here, I'm gonna scroll up a little bit here, this was kind of the, the top overview, is that there is an update to the Ring drone. So this is their always home cam. They talked about it last year. This is gonna be that camera drone that flies around your house. It's pretty interesting. I'm definitely looking forward to trying this out. Unfortunately, this is going to be an invite-only beta. Looks like it's gonna cost about $250. I did a full review on it last year. I can link a video if you guys want to check that one out, get a little bit more detail on it. But yeah, this is going to be interesting. A, flown that, a drone that is going to fly around your house. So I hope I get in the invite only program. I'll definitely be testing it out for you guys once I get my hands on it. The last thing that I wanted to bring up that they announced is that Amazon has announced a new robot called Astro. So this is uh, gonna be something pretty interesting. It's gonna be a robot that's essentially gonna follow you around the house. Uh, it seems like it's kind of like the drone, but it's a little robot, a little Astro, just like uh, makes me think of the Jetsons right here. But this thing is going to come in at $1,000. So pretty expensive. It looks like it's going to be an invite only uh, item starting out. It's gonna ship later this year. So reading a little blurb down here, it says that this robot comes with a periscope camera to show a live view and a mobile app to check your home when you are away. Astro works with the Alexa Together and Ring Protect Pro. 
Uh, so you have to go ahead and sign up to get on the invite list. I will have a link below for you guys to do that if you want to see if you get on the invite list for this device right here. Anyway, that is everything that was announced in today's Amazon event. Now they also announced a few things a couple weeks ago. They announced some new TVs and some other new products. I'll link those below if you guys wanna check those out too. But let me know what you're interested in and what you want me to pick up and review. If this video was helpful for you guys, give it a thumbs up, let me know that you liked it. As always, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you guys in the next video.